Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Meet the Artist series. Again, I'm your host Darren and today we have the wonderful Gail to speak to. Um, so Gail, welcome to the video and um, just want to introduce yourself to us today and to our audience. Hi, I'm Gail Robertson. Uh, my, um, my artistic name is Gail Stirling Robertson just because there are so many Gail Robertsons on the planet <laughs> I had to try and define myself somehow. Uh, and I'm just a self-employed artist from Perthshire. Um, that's about it, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I think we have to talk about the elephant in the room to start with. Can you explain, like, tell me more about the, the post box you've got behind you? Because I just think it looks incredible. All right. OK, so this is a, a sort of five and a half foot MDF. I just cut it out of um, MDF with the jigsaw. And this is the style of painting that I do. So it's sort of a bit melty, bendy sort of stuff. Um, and um, I've got a, a featured exhibition coming up, so I wanted something for the window, really. Uh, so this will be stuck in the window of the gallery, and I'll have other work, you know. But this is a, just a really sort of little promo nice piece one. for me, I like which it. I can drag past fairs in the future and things, you know. Also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Following you around the country. Yeah. That's brilliant. So yeah. is that so? Is that quite in, in like indicative of the, the style of art that you have normally? Um, yeah, yeah, it is, which is which is odd because considering my lighthouse is not remotely in this Ooh. style, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't always bend things into these shapes, <laughs> but uh, but mostly I do. So the bulk of my work is is in that style. Oh, interesting. So what can, um, I don't want to give too much away, uh, but what can people expect from your lighthouse? Um, well, it's not bendy, but it's <laughs> bendy. very much, um, it's still um, the kind of thing that I would paint. Mm -hmm. um, not giving too much away. Uh, there's a lot of detail in it. Uh, it's yeah. quite a lot of my personalities spilled into it. Um, there's something for everyone to find in it. Mm. So the, 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 there are so many little elements in it that it'll be a, a good sort of spotting game for, I think, for families going around for I looking like for little, their own little part which suits them in it. That's great. I think especially for them, um, because um, we've been talking about a lot, a lot of this on the show, is that the, the, the lighthouses are so big that it's going to be <laughs> great, um, great for the kids if they've got little bits to find uh, yeah. along the White House and things and uh, maybe get lifted up so they can see <laughs> see the top yeah. of it. Yeah, they are. It's the, I was so, so surprised by the height of it when it arrived. <laughs> you know, I had this idea in my head of how long it was going to take to paint and then yeah. it's uh, way past that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I think everyone said that. It's like, oh, it's it's a great shape to paint and work with, but I definitely uh -huh. needed a ladder. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I was up and down from a box a lot of the time, you know, just to reach the top bits. But no, it was it was a really good canvas to paint on. Actually, there wasn't anything too intricate in it that was difficult to work with. So it was yeah. it was a really good starting point. Brilliant. And have you done? Is this the first trail you've done, um, or have you? Are you no, a trail I've veteran? Done, I've done. I've done a few now. Yeah, yeah. I've. Um, I did the 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 uh, Maggie's Penguin Parade. Oh yeah. Um, in Dundee. I did two penguins for that, and I did the um, the Urwelly Big Bucket Trail, with the second cool. Urwelly one in Dundee yeah. as well. Uh, and I also did one, a, a more local one in Creef, which was, um, they were Highland Cows. Oh, great. But they were in the shape of couches. They were called the Creef oh. Couches, with a C-O-W couches. <laughs> uh, and I, I did one of those as a, it's just called Military Coup. So it was basically a Highland Cow with fatigues and, um, you know, aviator sunglasses and that sort of thing so it was uh, <laughs> that was fun to do. so I think I could see um yeah I think I'm getting a vibe of your work so a lot of personality that goes into your artwork then yeah 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 I think I think you have to I think if you're going to have something that represents you you have to spill into that wee bit yeah that's great so um are you how's so how it's been a bit of a sort of different ride to this uh, trail so how has it been how has it differed from other trails you've worked on in the past um, the, the whole uncertainty of it has been quite, uh, you know, it's, it's been a bit frustrating, which is yeah. obviously nobody's fault at all, but yeah. it's uh, the, the build up to it, you know, I was so excited about getting the lighthouse and it just kept sort of getting put back and put back yeah. and then got it finished and it was away and we thought, hurrah, it's going to be out and yep. then it got put back again. So, <laughs> I mean, it must be difficult for you guys trying to, like you say, keep the momentum going with yeah. this when it's taken such a long time to come to fruition. So. Yeah, um, I think that's it. I think it's um, 
yeah the good thing is is, is that there's like there's sat somewhere in Aberdeen is a, a beautiful warehouse full of these amazing incredible pieces yeah. of art and I think knowing knowing they're there at least most of them are there um the ones that were able to get theirs done before various lockdowns and whatnot um mm-hmm. knowing that they're there and just ready waiting for uh the go button for it to go out to the trail so yeah we're we're looking at august now as our trail date going yeah. live so fingers crossed that um that's when yeah that's when we'll get get going with it all mm-hmm. um so uh think about other trails and that so if i was a family or or just somebody um just with a big interest in art so why would why would I want to go and do the trail sell the trail to me <laughs> um it's okay <laughs> um, <laughs> well I'm trying to think the reasons that I didn't really know about art trails initially and the when the first Ur Willy trail happened I went as a as a punter around them yeah. my son my, my son and my husband and I went over two days all around all 50 of them um, and it was a really good way of discovering the area because there were places that I I went to where there were where there were statues. I thought, wow, I've never been here before. Yeah. And I think it introduces you to your country a bit and your, even your local area. But you yeah. think, well, I didn't know this was here. And the achievement of it as well. It was, I mean, mm-hmm. it was it's a bit sad, I suppose, but we felt yeah. would really accomplish something when we found all the pieces. It was like doing a massive jigsaw yeah. with the family. And That's getting great. out and about and seeing things, and it was really enjoyable that way. So I would hope that this would be much the same. I would like to, I'll, I'll do the trail as much of it as I can, the Lighthouse Trail too, even though it's well out of my area, really. Yeah. But it's, okay. it's a way to go and see places, and you mark them off, and it's just, it's just good. It's good fun. Yeah, I love that. Like doing a doing a jigsaw as all with all the family sort of analogy. Yeah. Um, yeah you have to get I'm, all the bits, or it's not quite. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I, I feel like it's one of those things you get obsessive about. Oh, maybe collect a couple with the app, and then you're seeing the <laughs> thing. You have to keep collecting them. <laughs> I know. I mean, I know that the um, some friends of mine who had smaller children, and they became obsessive about it. Because <laughs> like, we have to go. We've got gaps in our, you know, in our oh, app. No. We have to go to these ones today. So it's a, a really good thing of getting people outdoors as yeah. well, especially after all this lockdown. I think it'll be really refreshing to be able to travel to the places and and see mm-hmm. the different lighthouses. Yeah, I, I know. I'm. Yeah, I think that's going to be such a bonus for us all. And and knowing that um, we're in quite a few of the smaller communities within the northeast yeah. as well, so it'll be um, certainly areas that that I haven't been to, or if at least not for a very long time, anyway. And mm-hmm. and even the fact that uh, we've got lighthouses in Orkney and Shetland. Uh, so for the first time for an art sculpture trail, it's going up to Orkney and Shetland too. Yeah. So um, fingers crossed. I can. I, I mean. Catch 22, I'm not big on boats, but I'd love to go up to Orkney and Shetland to right, go and see okay. them. So maybe maybe get a flight in then. If the flights are happening again properly from Aberdeen, then yeah. um, it'd be great to go and see them as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, that's great. So um, if people are, want to see your artwork and get a bit more of a vibe as to who you are as an artist, uh, where can they find your work and when, where can they see it online? Uh, well, I've got, I have a website. Uh, which is just gailsterlingrobertson.co.uk. Uh, I exhibit in quite a few galleries in Scotland. So um, I'm in a gallery, gallery in Ballater. Um, oh, brilliant. And Glasgow and Edinburgh. Um, it's, it's, you know, I'm sort of, I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah, just everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You're there and, everywhere. Um, and I do a lot of commission work, so people contact me directly you know and it's oh, great you just need to really you just need to google my name really and, yeah. and up a pop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i will do that we'll leave some links in below so they can find your website as well it's, it's, uh, it's great you're in balater as well because the clans clans got a presence in balater so we have our charity shop in balater so um, all right so won't be I far from it. Ah, it's, well, it's a lovely it's a really lovely town it's really it's really yeah. nice so it's, be- it's so nice yeah it's such a beautiful place and like yeah. all the surrounding scenery and whatnot it's such yeah. a idyllic little little town so mm-hmm. and you usually thought you can never know who you can actually meet there uh, between royals and some celebs that go go visiting <laughs> uh-huh yeah so that's great no thank and thank you so much for yeah spending the time with me uh today's chat a bit no about problem. more your artwork um it's been really good to get to meet you and yeah like all of our artists actually as part of the series and um yeah just even getting to see some of your imagery just now i'm really excited to see what what you've done I, i've seen a lot of people's artwork coming so far just 
uh-huh. the bonus position of being of working for Kwan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'll, I'm very keen to see what you've come up with, and um, yeah, w- looking forward to seeing them out on the trail uh, come August 9th when we're uh, looking to get them on the streets. Um, yeah. So, but um, yeah, thank you so much again, and yeah, thank you everyone today for um, watching once again. And um, until next time, we'll bring you some more artwork and another artist to meet as as we build up to the trail. So, thanks again, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you.